Hey, guten Morgen, good morning, buongiorno. Um, so I want to go into uh, kind of some early punk rock days when um, you know I knew I wanted to play the drums and how I went about making that happen. So uh, my my grandma who lived in San Diego. She would give me a um, a bond, like a fifty dollar, a hundred dollar bond, every birthday. And it was probably like four or five years. I uh, saved up, you know, a bunch of bonds, and they don't become they don't they don't become the full amount until like. Uh, quite quite a few years. So there was a point when I really wanted a drum set, and a friend, Jason Traeger, was moving to San Diego, and uh, and he was selling his drum set, and I I it was my calling. I was like, okay, I'm buying it. You know, I'm gonna cash in my bonds. So I cashed in my bonds and probably got like I think I gave Jason about a hundred and seventy dollars or something like that. I don't remember exactly. I want to say 170, 180 for a for a beater drum set. But back then I, I considered it amazing, you know, because it was my first drum set. And um so I didn't get the full amount for my, my bonds. It was probably two hundred and fifty dollars worth of bonds something like that, but I, I only got like 100, 180 or 170 for them. So I bought the drum set, and it was like the happiest day of my life, you know? I mean, it really was. It was just like, I mean, just the smell of the, the drum, the smell of like the, you know, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, it, it just was like, you know, I walk into my bedroom and it smelled like my drum set. <laughs> that makes me. Sense. But so I'm like probably 13 at that point, probably like early 13. So somewhere around 1982. No, let's see. <sighs> see, it gets my my memory is 82, 83. I'd say the early 83, something like that. So, I get this drum set, and it's got like, it's kind of mixed match, so it has red sparkle and blue sparkle, and I was like, forget this, man. I went and got, like, this black, I don't think it was even wallpaper, it was, um, I don't know, like, uh, maybe it was for, what was it for? I don't know, but it was like kind of a wallpaper thing, and I took all the hardware off my drums and put on this black paper, and I, I don't know, I just wanted it to look all the same, you know? I really, it's kind of funny to think about that, I mean, I thought like the, the, the sparkle wrap, now I'm like, you know, I, I like sparkle wraps, right? I mean, <laughs> I like sparkle wraps. <laughs> My my drum kit is blue sparkle Ludwig, like vintage Ludwig kit is my main kit. Actually, I have two kits that are that are blue sparkle. Anyway, sparkles was that was for girls when I was a teenager. You know, I don't want those sparkle sparkly drums. I want I want black drums, and then put my punk rock stickers on them. That's right. There's photos on there somewhere. I have of them. So, and then I just was like, man, I am, I'm just going to learn. I'm going to learn how to play. And at first, I, I just kind of faked my own hardcore punk beat, which was more of just like a, you know, like the, it's like the cheater punk beat, where you just go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, you know, like, um, 
you know, there's there's a lot of bands that I don't know if they call it the blast beat now. To me, that's cheating. The blast beat is one two one two one two one two, and you're not. You know, I know I know some drummers may be upset at me. You know, the blast beat's real. Um, the the blast beat works if it's done. You know, I would I'd have to show you what I'm I'm talking about. But like, okay, here, look. Okay, you guys. So if you can see this, if you're just going like that, that's that's not the real punk beat. You know, I mean, some people can say it is, but it's like. You know, going like that, just one, two, you know, you have to, you know, the real punk beat is, is more one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you know, the one, kick on the one, snare on the, uh, two, so it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, not like, not like that, any, you know, your grandma can do that, right, you know, that's the, and, you know, it's not that that beat can't be used, it's just, Anyway, so that's the first beat that I, I learned was that, that, like, you know, and I knew that wasn't right, because I listened to, like, Minor Threat, listened to all my favorite hardcore bands, Bad Brains, I'm like, that's not what they're playing, that's not what I want to play, you know, I don't want to play that, that cheating beat is, 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 you know, so I listened so close, listened to, like, Minor Threat, you know, um, in my eyes, I remember listening to that stuff over and over again, and, and other, you know, other hardcore stuff, and going like, yes, that is, okay, now I'm figuring it out, you know, I didn't have anybody showing me this, you know, I learned this on my own, um, Dale showed me how to play double bass, uh, one time before a, before a, a gig, he showed me how to play, so that was like, you know, like a year and a half later, or a year later, or something, you know, I was like, oh, I want to learn double bass. So it didn't take me too long to get the beat. You know, it probably took me like, I'd say like five months, five, six months, something like that. And I was like getting the hardcore beat down. So at, at that point, you know, it was like, you know, it's like all of a sudden, you know, I'm like, a light goes on my head. I'm like, oh, I got it, you know? And... And I figured out how to play like slower beats and then kind of mix them up, you know, a little bit. So, um, you know, ATG, ATG started. So we, I mean, we started like we didn't really know how either either of us how to how to play. My, my myself and my brother, we just made noise. And we had a couple other friends, George and Bill and. We just, you know, we just did what we could to put together songs, and that, you know, there there were some there were some songs that kind of made made sense, but but it was it was all pretty much just us all trying to figure out what the hell we were doing. Um, Bruce has the recording, so you know, put a couple put a couple of songs up <laughs> on ATG. I don't know. I actually put up some songs of Bruce and myself playing. Um, on my page, it'll say like ATG Bruce singing. I think is the video. So that's just us. Just you know, that's when I was actually starting to learn the hardcore beat correctly. So I'm I'm playing more, you know, the real beat. But there's older stuff that's almost unlistenable in my opinion. So um, I should probably do a part two of this because basically, so I'll, I'm going to cut this off here in a, little, in a few. So anyway, um, we, we still, I mean, we did like, we did, I think only one show when we were really kind of just in the beginning stages of, you know, we were probably only a band for six, seven, seven months, you know, we didn't really have very many, uh, connections at all, you know, I mean, I think we were talk trying to figure out, well, now we have a bunch of songs to try to play, so we ended up playing a party, and it was the Ed Fest, it was just a party at this dude's house in, um, junior high school, and, uh, and we played, and it was, it was a blast, it was, I guess you could consider it the first time I ever played in front of people, um, 
and Bruce and Bill and George. And we were against the grain. So, um, but I just remember like, like knowing like that, that beat was not the beat. That was not the beat that I wanted to play. You know, I was just faking it. In, in a way, and I always knew that it was a it was a faking faking punk beat, you know, that uh, one two one two thing, where you know I mean ha trying to explain it the normal hard hardcore beat that goes one two one two one two also, but you're playing it like I was explaining earlier, you're, you're, you're playing it more um, where you're playing one two three four on the hi hat constantly, and on the one and three. You're hitting the kick, and on the two and four, you're hitting the snare, but you're keeping the hi hat going, you know. So it's like, but on all those beats, you're hitting the hi hat, and then you you gradually go faster and faster and faster, you know. And then you can start adding in doubles, you know, you know stuff like that, or you know, and gradually like. Um, Increase your speed, increase your pedal action, keep your hi hat going, you know, keep your hi hat going. Um, that's very, very important, you know. So, anyway, alright, so I'll, I'll do another video here pretty soon. Bye.